Professor Newton back with you once again along with my assistant Zoe. How are you today Zoe? Good. Good. Yeah, you're always good. I'm telling you, you're awesome. Hey, what's one of your favorite things you like to do in the summertime? I like to go swimming at the water <laughs> and eat an ice cream and do fun stuff. And do fun stuff. Is one of the fun stuff that you, things that you like to do? Do you like to go on picnics? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes we go on picnics in our yard. And sometimes you go on picnics in your yard. Well, you know what? When we were setting this all up today, you said something really cool to me. You said it looks like a picnic. Yeah. Does this look like a picnic? Yeah. Well, what's one of the things you have to have at a picnic? You have to have food. Have to have food. And uh, sandwiches are food, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to make some sandwiches here. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. This is a very simple experiment that you can do at home. But you need to do it outside, okay? You really need to do this one outside because it's a little messy. First of all, you need to have baking soda, you need to have vinegar, and you need to have a quart size sandwich bag and a snack size sandwich bag. And to have eh, probably three of each would be really, really good because we're going to make this kind of a big experiment today, okay? The very first thing we're going to do, Zoe, is we're going to put our safety glasses on for a very important reason because we're going to make a sandwich that explodes. What? Well, sort of. I'll show you what we're talking about. Uh, the very first thing we're going to do is we want to put some baking soda in this bag. So would you hold that bag open for me just like that? Thank you. Now, if you have measuring spoons at home, you need one tablespoon of baking soda. But you can also use a cap from a uh, water bottle, which is about a teaspoon. And three teaspoons make one tablespoon. So we're gonna put that in just like that. And we'll do another one real quick. It's very messy, as you can see. And I'll do one more. Okay, see all that? I'm putting more on the table than I am in there. All right, so we're gonna put our baking soda over there. And you also need to do, well, in this case, I think we're only gonna do, well, we're gonna do three different amounts, actually. You can have 60 milliliters, 80 milliliters, or 120 milliliters of vinegar. Now, 120 milliliters is about four ounces so you can kind of do the math if it's 80 milliliters or 60 milliliters 60 milliliters is about two ounces and 80 is about three ounces so all you have to do we're going to use our flask which is really a good way to do this we'll do about oh we'll do 60. we'll make this an easy one just like that okay and we'll pour it in well not yet no we don't want to pour it in kind of set that one off to the side okay set that off to the side just like that <laughs> because this is the really messy part in a minute all right I'm open that up can you hold that open for me just like that okay just kind of hold that open just like that we're gonna pour the vinegar into the little snack bag just like that and then we're gonna zip it shut all right we're gonna zip that shut we gotta make sure it doesn't leak out very important that it doesn't leak out because this experiment is called a chemical reaction. And our bag is really kind of messing with us, so I'm gonna just set that aside just like that. We'll set that one over there because it's not sealing very well. And we have our bag of baking soda, but I made some ahead of time, all right? I made some ahead of time. Now this is that 60 milliliters or about two ounces of vinegar and a tablespoon of baking soda. And this is where the sandwich comes in. You put the bag inside and then you put it inside the quart bag just like that and you seal it up really, really good. So on the count of three, we're going to hit it, right? Right. One, One two, two, three. Shake. All right. And then shake, 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 it. Get it all mixed up, get all mixed up, get all mixed up. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I think we're going to get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Woohoo! Yep, okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, and... Is it gonna explode? Is it gonna explode? Oh no, is it gonna explode? Ah! It 
didn't explode. It didn't explode. Well, you know why that happens though? What? Because the vinegar mixes with the baking soda and it causes a chemical reaction. You know what kind of gas is in there? That's carbon dioxide gas. And you know what? I don't think we had quite enough baking powder in there because as the gas expands, it explodes. But tell you what, let's set this one right over here. You know what? What? I got an extra. Yay! I got an extra one. So we're going to try it again on the count of three. Are you ready? One. one. Wait, 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 wait. We're start up here. One, two, two three. three. All right. And shake, 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 shake. Oh, this one I think is going to work just great. Woo, 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 woo. awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now, as you can see, it's a pretty messy experiment, isn't it? Yes. But it's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. You like to have an exploding sandwich, don't yes. you? Well, you know what? You can try this one at home, but remember, please do it outside so you don't make a great big mess in the house. My name is Professor Newton. This is Zoe. We want you to have a super science day. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.